Sawadee Krap and welcome to this Friday edition of Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mastanza. Three men are in police custody in connection with Wednesday's deadly bombing on a team of soldiers who were providing protection to teachers in southern Thailand. The attack killed two paramilitary rangers and injured five others in Naratiwat. Police believe the three suspects are subordinates of an insurgent cell in the south. And officials say they're making it rain in the northeast as they help combat Thailand's water crisis. Cloud seeding operations are being performed across the northeast to help replenish water reserves. Meanwhile, a more long-term solution is being sought as plans for a map of water sources around the country will be drawn and water distribution systems will be installed where residents are unable to gain access to the precious liquid. So far, officials say residents throughout the country have enough tap water to last until July. Still, some farmers in the driest areas of Thailand are being asked by the government to look for other occupations until the drought ends. And anti-corruption authorities are clamping down on the former head of the Department of Special Investigations for being, quote, unusually wealthy. The National Anti-Corruption Commission has frozen assets worth over 90 million baht from ex-DSI chief Tare Pengdith. But the NACC says there's still over 256 million baht worth of assets still missing and that it's being concealed by proxies, including the ex-chief's nephew and sister-in-law. Authorities are seeking a court order to confiscate Tarit's other assets across Thailand, which include five blocks of land in China province and seven blocks of land in Nakhon Ratchasima. And Sir Nick Faldo has been on the island making a number of appearances, including one for the BIS Phuket Golf Center. He was speaking to Tim Newton. Well, it, this is, I think this is pretty. It's an eye opener to me because obviously in America their opportunities are amazing. And then, you know, when I when I started as a lad. Uh, back in Britain, we didn't have sporting scholarships or, or anything like that. So you had to, you know, I left school. You had to leave school to pursue your your career. So to come to Phuket and to see, uh, yeah, a real sport and arts predominant school with, uh, you know, 900 plus students or what, it's really impressive. And obviously, and very successful as well when I hear of the, um, what the golfers have been doing, what the tennis, standard of tennis, the standard of the swimming. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed by the whole, the whole thing. We'll be back with more Phuket Extra right after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Five Thai fishing boat captains and three Indonesians are starting their three-year jail bids today for human trafficking in connection with slavery in the seafood industry. The eight men were convicted by an Indonesian court after they were arrested last May in the waters off an Indonesian island. Prosecutors say the men forced and tortured 13 fishermen from Myanmar to work for them. The Burmese fishermen testified against the men and say the abuse has been going on for years. And Myanmar's majority party finally put forth a presidential candidate to become the first democratically elected president in decades. 69-year-old Tin Jaw a longtime friend of Aung San Suu Kyi, who also runs her charitable foundation, is expected to become Myanmar's new president. The National League for Democracy won a majority of the seats in last year's historic election, though party leader Aung San Suu Kyi is barred from taking the top office because of a clause in the constitution. The party also nominated ethnic Chin MP Henry Von Tu, who is expected to become the next vice president. And finally, Muay Thai superstar Buakau is looking for a new rival, the person who slashed his cat. His pet cat is fighting for his life in an animal hospital in Bangkok, and the 33-year-old fighter is appealing to authorities to find the person or animal who slashed his favorite pet this past week. A second cat in his neighborhood was found nearly decapitated. And thank you for joining us here at the Phuket News Center. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend.